it's your girl Renata Monique and I'm here with another vlog so welcome back family today is Monday um, June the 7th and it's about 4 35 and I had such a long day yesterday so I'm finally up and dressed and about to start my day I have a little errands to run um, I need to run to Walmart. I kind of think I want a crock pot because I like cooking. And let me show y'all around. I don't know if I ever did that, but y'all know I'm on a travel assignment. I am a travel respiratory therapist. I also talk on my channel about my sister locks who are one year old. And yeah, so I'm in Orlando, Florida, and this is just my life. So let me uh, show y'all. I don't think I showed y'all my room, but anyway, when we travel, the whole goal of traveling is... the whole goal of traveling when you are a traveling respiratory therapist or nurse is to find a place that suits your needs and that's affordable so where you can bank most of your money uh, your travel allowance because that's where you make the bulk of you know your money so I'm an extended stay and as you can see it's pretty nice it's not like a level five Star hotel or nothing like that but it fits my needs it's clean I feel safe here um, they allow pets as you know I have a mini schnauzer his name is cash I got him on my travel assignment when I was in LA he is cash money from Beverly Hills yes um, so yeah I have a kitchen this is a little table y'all I really use it as a desk where I edit I have my MacBook my air my um my iPad Pro Max. This is so much drama going on with my technology. Um, I have everything I need in this little kitchen. It's really cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of make it, you know, like home. I like candles. I just got it clean. I keep it nice and clean. This is like my little relaxed area because I don't like to lay in the bed all day. You know how I try to make it like a little apartment. Um, these are my books, my journal. I'm currently reading this book right here. Um, let's see what else. Oh, y'all, I'm so extra too. I have to do personal stuff. Look, y'all, I done hung curtains right here because I didn't like that this was just open right here, which is open. And when I'm in the bed, which is right here, this irritates me, even though it's neat. I just felt like it needed curtains. So, anyway, so yeah, let me show you. So, this is the closet, which is nice, you know, I got my clothes in there shoes don't judge me i have to keep them up because of cash him um yeah so i had these curtains you guys my son was here um as you know and he just went back to texas yesterday so i had those curtains that's right there i had them hanging like right here across across here y'all so that way when you I was using the bathroom or he was in there instead of doing everything in this hot little bathroom where it's hot and you can't breathe when you get out the shower you can come out and use you know this whole area as your dressing area you know so I just put the privacy curtains right here so that way I could get dressed and when I went to work and he was asleep or I came home and he was asleep or whatever it didn't disturb him plus I had this whole area I could get dressed in so yeah this is the little tips that you know I just come up with because I like to be comfortable where I am and if it costs me a little bit of money a little extra to make myself comfortable then so be it like I don't like putting down those little these things that they give you like who wants to use that every day 
So I just went and got me a little rug. So I just got this one. And so actually I'm gonna go get one for right here and one for in the kitchen. Okay, a little extra just for some comfort. So yeah, y'all. So I just wanted to give y'all just a little quick update about, you know, my room and little stuff that I do to make myself feel at home. Okay, if you don't know, then you don't know. This right here, y'all, I just ordered this. This is, I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but I ordered this because at another hotel, y'all, I slept on this pillow. And when I tell you, let me turn this around. When I tell y'all it made a huge difference, I bought two for my house. Actually, I bought, yeah, four. They cost like $140 at my, www.mypillow.com. I bought one, two for me and two for my husband. But I didn't want to bring it on the trip. And plus I was like, well, maybe the hotel pillow is nice. No, mm -mm. So I ordered it and had it delivered here and it came yesterday and I slept like a baby. I don't know what it is, it's, um, it's a soft, but these pillows are really, really comfortable and really, really nice. So I just got me a travel pillow from now on. I always gotta have a blanket as well. So right here is my little blanket. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm about to get out in these streets uh wash my car i need to probably go to like tj maxx or something like that i need to get my nails and my feet done so yeah i'm just gonna bring you out with me today um i have some more vlogs that i need to sit down and update but ugh, i'm finally gonna sit down tonight when i get back so yeah so hopefully we're gonna have a good day y'all we're gonna get out and enjoy this weather so yes let's get ready to go i'll see you guys in a little bit y'all so <laughs> your girl spent like $40 y'all and I got like eight items uh that's what I'm talking about uh, I'm gonna show y'all when I get um back to the hotel because why well, spend a fortune like you get some staple items like I got like cute coat shoes you know real cute Michael Kors and stuff like that I love good purses you dress this stuff up with some good shoes and good purses. Now, I really don't do uh, inexpensive shoes unless it's like little flip-flops here and there and stuff like that. Because your girl, you know, I'm old. My feet be hurt and I just can't. Um, but outfits, like summer stuff, like this stuff, I only wear it like one season. And then I have a nice wash and dryer at home. I'll hand wash it and all of that just to get through the season. And <laughs> look. Oh, AutoZone. I need to go there too, y'all. I need some uh, windshield wipers for my car it's right across the street this is gonna be a real productive day y'all if you don't know about y'all know about these dds Dee yeah you get some good cute stuff in there too so that's next so what happened y'all is i wanted to sit at the uh at the table the hibachi table but it has to have two people before you can um, sit there so uh yeah i am Oh, this is a cute little place, y'all. It's an all-you-can-eat sushi and, and sashimi and hibachi bar for $25.95 per person. So, I'm extra hungry. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. So, I'm about to um, see what I want to order and get me a cocktail and dig in. Check back with y'all.
The steak. For medium, but I don't know, y'all. It's a little tough. I may have to get some more steak because I asked for medium. I'm gonna say medium. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, my way. I'm about to tell her right now. Hi. It's supposed to be medium? Medium. Yeah. It's a medium, yeah. Medium rare? Medium? No, medium, medium. Medium. I thought medium was like more pink. Medium rare, medium. This is like, this is like, um, chewy, chewy, like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want, can I get medium rare? It's, yeah, this is not it. Medium, you want a medium? Medium. That's a medium, yeah. You order medium, yeah. But it's it's. So you want a medium rare well or medium rare? Medium rare. rare, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, put, it put, 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 put it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm hungry. Yeah. Ah! So you want a medium? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Medium rare, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. No. Maybe that was me, but. I was not saying about all my food because this lobster is bomb. <laughs> so, the girl about to smash, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Today is um, Tuesday, June the, I don't know, what day is it? June the 8th. Yeah, June the 8th, because I work tonight. And I am about to finally, I know you guys, I left off yesterday, where I went to a couple stores, I went to eat, I was supposed to get my nails done, but that just didn't happen, because it's just, I don't know, I was just taking too long in them stores. So today, I'm about to go get my nails done, I need to run to Target, and I need to also get back home in time to get dressed and get ready for work. I usually leave out about 5.30, 5.45. So your girl's gonna be on the move today. But first things first, I gotta go get these nails and these feet done. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So y'all, um, I had to make an appointment. So uh, it's beautiful on the inside. So yeah, I gotta come back in about 45 minutes. So I'm starving. So I guess what go get me something I think I, yeah I could go just get me something to eat and um I actually need to go to Target too so maybe I'll do both maybe I'll grab something fast quick simple and then run to Target and get that out the way because I need some like little groceries so that when I get off in the morning um I ain't gotta um get me hungry <laughs> So I got 45 minutes. She said come back at about, uh, what time is it? 2.45 and if they get, it's 1.45 here in Florida. So if they get done earlier, um, she'll give me a call. So I'm gonna stay like right in the area. And it's a Target, it's everything that's like literally like right on this, uh, on this little strip. So yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Period. I'll check with y'all in a minute. So I just left um, Target and it was just a regular Target y'all. I don't know about y'all but if it ain't like the Super Target, I just be like, 
like why am I here like it just feels so like I don't know like bootleg or something like they I wanted to get some groceries um they didn't really have no groceries you know they got a little section um I'm just like the experience of the money that I need to spend and I'm about to spend needs to be on the same level so when I go to Target if I'm gonna pay more at regular Target aka bootleg Target I might as well go to Super Target like so I didn't really get too much but I was so hungry and they told me to come back at 2.45 so I got like two minutes um I just improvised I had bought some cheese and some crackers and some juice that's a couple things that I did pick up because I didn't want to wake up in the morning and really not have nothing um so I just opened up my crackers right here y'all these are so good if you know them you know my little cheese packs you know like the little kobe jack little cheese and i put me some juice in my cup i always keep a cup in here whether i need to put ice in it or whatever i usually keep it in here and some bottled water so i can always just get some ice and fill up with water but anyway i put some juice in here and i just sat right here i'm right outside the salon and that's what I ate because I hate sometimes when I'm hungry and I know I don't want nothing fast, like no fast food. Um, but I need to eat because I'm weak. I wait so long to eat. So I decided to just eat that. And now if I'm full, instead of wasting money getting some, you know, fast food and I don't really like it or I don't really want it. I got my leftover from um, last night at the restaurant where I ate like I had no sense. Um, I got those leftovers. So I'm going to take that to lunch. Um today tonight i usually go to lunch at work about 12 30 1 o'clock because it seems like it makes my night go by faster um so so yeah i'm about to go ahead and get my nails done y'all this place i'm excited i gotta get them short though but i'm about to see what they do because the inside is absolutely beautiful the little reception area all of that so y'all let's see what this nail shop is about so um i'm gonna see y'all in a few minutes let me get out the car lock the door y'all gotta do all of that off camera because I be all over the place and I got a bad habit of not lock This is regular, but she showed me the price point. They got pedicures, y'all, that go up to like $200. What are y'all clipping for $200? What kind of pedicure is that? $200. What y'all love it? I'm just saying. I'm going to find out because my nosy ass is just got to know what this entails. Hello y'all, I just got my nails done y'all. They are absolutely gorgeous, yes. Focus, focus. I love them. So yeah, I've come home y'all. I've changed into my scrubs real quick. Uh, I am about to leave and head to work. So until the next time and in between time, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I cannot vlog at work. Y'all know how that is. So, yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, I have a good night. Um, one of my girl, one of the, well, the, the ladies at my job, because I'm a traveler, and people just don't have to be nice to you. So, when they be nice to you, I always take it upon myself to just show gratitude. So, she switched the day with me so that I could be off to meet my husband to drop my son off. And I just picked her up a little gift right here. So, I know it's going to make her day. She's not going to expect it. And I just like doing stuff like that because... You know, when you show appreciation to somebody, it's the little things. You know, 2021, y'all, it's about the little things. Live, love, and laughter. So, anyway, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back. Today is, uh, I think I left off, it was, today is June 9th. And I think I'm going to end this vlog properly, like, today. Today is June 9th. It's Wednesday, and I have one more day of work. I work tomorrow, so I've been working, I'll be working three days in a row, which was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I'm not going to be doing much. Um, 
So yeah, then I'm off y'all for the weekend. So that must, I wanna start a fresh new vlog for you guys on the weekends because I plan on getting out and about in Orlando, trying some nice restaurants I've heard about, going to another beach, um, you know, just getting out and about and seeing what the city has to offer. So a couple of you guys have asked me, you know, when I travel, you know, what do you do? How do you travel with your dog or whatever? And I always use the same scenario. You know, we all gotta go out and work. You know, you can't cuddle your dog just like you can't cuddle your kids when you gotta go to work, you gotta go to work. That don't mean you shouldn't have one. You just gotta take precautions. And guess what, at the end of the day, they'll be okay. So with Cash, I always look for places that I have an area where I can keep him. So at night, let me show y'all. At night, he has his crate right here, which is his crate and his water, his toys, which are like all right here right now. He playing with his toy. But when I go to work, I don't like to keep him in his cage. I like an area where he has, you know, some freedom. So I put all his toys in here and I leave the television on and, or some music on. And this is where he hangs out. Now what I will do in a little bit is I'll put some pee-pee pads like right over here. Um, he's been able to actually hold it until I get home in the morning. Um, so I feed him when I first get here, when I first get off at seven. Then when I kind of wake up about three-ish, so he's already eating, that's it. He ain't getting no more to eat. So I'm about to take him outside real quick and actually he should be good. And if he makes a mistake, that's fine. You know, I'll just clean it up and keep it moving. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and end this vlog properly. You guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you do? Do you have a pet when you go to work? Where do you keep them? You know, do you leave them out? Cause yesterday I just left him out. And even though he couldn't tear up nothing, he just tore up all his toys. Uh, he pulled down, I had some curtains over here. Uh, he pulled them down and chewed up the rod. Like, uh-uh, he gotta be in a spot where he can, cause he'll get into some stuff. But yeah, I just thank you guys so much for tuning into another vlog. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll catch you guys this weekend. Bye.